Hello everyone, and welcome to our Let's Play of My Little Investigations. Uh, I'm I'm... not here. Oh, yeah, so Pear is here, though he's probably slowly dying in the background. Because uh, he's, he's been dying for a month and a half now. It's, it's the fastest test ever. Probably get it to work backwards for that. So, um... First, so, first off, I'm going to point out a few things before we actually start, because I noticed this last time. By the way, I tried playing this before, uh, but the whole everything exploded and it was all terrible, uh, and, and the video died, so I was like, whatever. Exploded in not the fun way. Yeah, so, you, indeed. So I was like, <laughs> whatever, you know what, I was gonna play this as a pair anyways, so that's actually fine that everything... So I kind of already know how the game goes, uh, but that's fine. So first off, um, Twilight missing her cutie mark. Oh yeah, I didn't like, notice that. Yeah. I was just gonna mention it, but he's a fat ass, but... Oh, the cutie mark thing works too. Spike, Spike is is a pretty <laughs> Spike. I guess you're. Spike is ass. very well rounded. Okay. Uh, the other thing, I'm gonna bring up my sound mix reel here. Yeah. So for whatever oh reason, God. Twilight Sparkle rapes your sound mixer. Uh, don't normally bring this up during videos, but uh, sometimes do. Anyways, here's the sound mixer. You can't use it because Twilight Sparkle rapes it. I don't know why she rapes it. You have but... to see more of this. <laughs> it's <a bit> deeper. <laughs> we yes, exactly. But um, yeah, I I've almost never seen this before. I haven't even seen this before on horror games. I don't know if it's a programming glitch or how they did that, but that's super weird. And I know it's not a minor glitch because it happens every time. I can never adjust the volume because Twilight's always here. I, I, I like to credit myself as having good knowledge of hardware and software, and I got no clue what happened there. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad that makes two of us, then. Um, th then, yeah, alright, so... Yes, you can say, magic snort snort. <laughs> also, uh, you know what? Fuck having good voice acting, we're gonna voice act this game. What? Well, the I... voice is actually nice. I believe. I, I know, but fuck that. We're voice acting this game. That's why I said fuck good voice acting. We don't need it. We're going to read this shit. If, if that's okay with you. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to start as a cutscene. Your face is a cutscene. Find it! Find it! It's here somewhere. Erg. I'm looking. Give me a break. It's too Man and Oscar. dark. Can't see a thing. Uh, let's take breaks. Yes, that's a thing called night. Keep looking. Wait, I think- Aha! I found it. Finally! Let's get out of here, quickly! What the? Head for the hills! Where's and, the best pony incoming there? Yeah, uh, and there's Scootaloo. Uh, okay, what, what's, what's going it? on? Yeah, okay, I'll let you be Scootaloo. Also, best money. Un an unfortunate thing I noticed. Wherey, I came as soon as I heard. What happened? I lied when I first met that. I'm so immature, but I lied when I first heard <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, so, how about I'm Twilight Sparkles and you're pretty much everyone else? Do you know my reading's good, but sure, let's do it. D.Y. Hopkins. Uh, Twilight, it's awful, horrible, dreadful, perhaps even the worst possible thing. Aha, uh -huh. and that would be? Ponies. <laughs> Why, Twilight, do I detect skepticism? Well, I have, you know, that I, last night I became a victim, a tragic, tragic victim. Of rape! I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I was gonna bring this up, because the pair is not gonna be able to notice. Uh, the unfortunate thing about turning the voices off, for whatever reason, turns all the sound off, so... The awesome typing sound, like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, yeah, it turns <laughs> all the sound off. It... I'm assuming that... I guess they should just have more options for us. Well, yeah. They, yeah, they need more options, but right now I'm assuming it's a glitch, because uh, it just says voice on or off. But um, it, is music off? Yeah, everything's off. We are I, the I, only I, sound I, going right now. I'm assuming that I don't think if it's a glitch as much as they they just having like 
it being the sound option overall. They, they might just not, have not uh, changed. Okay, makes, well, that's fine. Oh, well, so that sucks. So, uh, we're, we're going in without sound effects. Woe is me, I should never recover from this injury that has been wrought upon me. English rarity. Sigh. <laughs> I like how I just say sigh, which... <laughs> sigh, I was in the zone, Twilight. But if I must, last night I was stolen from. Ha, huh, you could say she like, was in the Twilight Zone. Yes, I, I was gonna make a Danger Zone joke, but that doesn't work. <laughs> the Twilight Zone joke is pretty much already there. Yes. Stolen from? What was stolen? They were stolen, Twilight. Both of them. It's, it's funny, every time I read this, I always thought, like... Balls. I'm because I was already <laughs> making dick jokes and stuff, and I'm like, Rarity's Rarity's family jewels were stolen. <laughs> yes. Uh, who? <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is specifically where my two jewels. Uh, two blue and open. Oh, she even named her family jewels. Yes. Hmm. Ahem, Twilight, what Rabbit is trying to say is that Thief broke into the carousel boutique last night and stole to both the true blue and large, sap uh, large sapphire that she had recently acquired with gem hunting uh, and Opal, which is her uh, cat. How could they? How could they? Oh, my poor, poor darling. All alone out there with those ruffians. I'm gonna go ahead and hope that she was talking about her cat there. What happened? Do you have any idea who did this? Who done it? Well, no, I'm afraid we haven't the slightest idea. But he's also mad. This <laughs> Ponyway well, doesn't really have much of a police force, you see, so we are a little under-equipped to handle something like this. Oh. I don't know why, this is one of the few times I've really stopped and looked at, uh, the mayor's neck thing, and I'm like, it's really interesting. Fluffy. <laughs> huh? It's very fluffy. Yes, it's very fluffy. I, I'm, I'm not sure what I think of it, I'm like, it's, it's, it's a weird neck thing. <laughs> Great observation. Yes. This doesn't happen very often, you know. An investigation team from Cantalot has agreed to look into it, but I'm afraid they won't be here for a few days. A few days? But the thieves Twilight. might be gone long by by that. What? Twilight just came in that one frame. <laughs> I came! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but the thieves might be long gone by then, and wait, is this the same investigation team as last time? Exactly what happened last- oh, well, exactly what happened last time, I can't seem to recall. Oh, Mayor Mayor, your memory's getting bad. The one brought in to investigate the baby that went missing, and which ended up being found unharmed in the closet? I'm pretty sure it's a- it's a squad, a team, whatever it's called. <laughs> The A team was actually pretty good. They, that's I know, why but they, they point the they point at masters and they, they point at the best at investigating um, lost ponies. I I think the A team would probably be fine. They uh, also it, I'm sorry it, it, now it, it, I'm the it, one being unprofessional, but oh hey I forgot it, to set myself. Do not disturb! Do not disturb me, even. people! Fuck you all! No, I'm sorry. Yeah, no. What? We are even. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, we are, because you're always, you're always being unprofessional. But it's fine, because you're, you're doing better now. Ah, uh, yes, I do recall that, but I'm not sure where you're going with. What I'm saying is they all have AIDS and are the worst investigative team ever, and you should feel bad for hiring them. You stupid, dumb bitch, man. No, <laughs> the one that somehow managed to implicate Pinkie Pie in a fictional dragon egg smuggling ring? Sounds fun. Well, ah, yes. Yeah, that's the one. Hmm. Think positive, Twilight. They may, um, perform better this time. Yes, that's a ticket. 
Hmm. Man, there's not much more for it either way, Twilight. After all, no pony in our town has any experience with this sort of thing. We just have to wait it out. Oh, I have so much to do at the moment. I simply can't stay around any longer. We get to the bottom of this as soon as that investigation team arrives. Verity, you have my word. And then the mayor trots off. Yeah, I feel like the no police force that always thing is just asking for trouble. Kind of. Though, actually, I imagine that there's guard ponies about who deal with this shit. But I there's could totally... Guard trouble is causing the... Uh, guard ponies causing the trouble. Uh, you've broken the law. Pay the fine, or I get, get forget the rest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sorry, I'm afraid she's right. You know, we have sim. We shall simply have to wait it out. If that investigative team gets their hooves on this case, who knows what ridiculous things they might come up with this time? There might be. There has to be a better way. Rarity, I'm on the case. I beg your pardon, Twilight. Some pony needs to get to the bottom of this, right? Well, I volunteer. I've had investigating experience. A, uh, I've had experience investigating a crime before, after all. Twilight, I'm really not too sure about this. Ah, something like that. <laughs> sure, that's such a great, grand idea. Well, I mean, sure, that particular investigation pretty much completely involved airtight evidence that directly identified the culprits in one go, and it also included an eyewitness who saw almost everything who could lead me exactly to the clues. But it's not like the team from Canterlot will be much better, right? Forgive me, Twilight, if your words do not in <sighs> Forgive me, Twilight, if your words do not inspire a, gr a great deal of confidence. Well, excuse me, Rarity, if I, I think you're a big, dirty whore, and I hate you. <laughs> It'll be fine, don't you worry, Rarity. I'll have this cape wrapped up in a case wrapped up in a jiffy. Mystery novels come through for me then. So you'll surely come through for us again. Hey, hey, hey! Gah! It's not funny. I came again. Pinky, <laughs> where in a question did you come from? Oh, well, I was walking by and I was aghast and my assistance is needed and I must fulfill my duty. And I must leave this planet. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. What are you doing? Having a pony in it, duh. I'm the one who knows something about investigations, not you. Remember what happened last time? <laughs> of course I do silly cupcakes, but this time completely different. I have to wait for it. A walk slow. Uh, a what? A walk slow, silly. For this game, the way things work are completely different than last time. Honestly, sometimes I worry about her. Pinky, you're oh. talking to some bushes. They had cupcakes in them. Oh, I'm not talking to these old things. I'm talking to them out there, and I've eat them. You see what I have to work with here? <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm not even going to ask. Uh, because you're fucking crazy. And everyone knows it. No. Um, just uh, do your thing, Pinky. She does many of things. Oh yeah. Kinky, okay, Pinky. okay, okay. Well, the first step of any investigation is to move around. You can't find anything if you don't move your little rump to where the sleuths are. This could turn sexually very quickly. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> uh, Pinkie Pie likes that little rump. So to walk places, you first lift your hoof up and move it in front of your other hoof. Pinky, I'm pretty sure I know how to walk. Oh, right. I bet you never walked like this before. Now, if you want to, her to walk, well, you gotta just click on that spot you want her to walk to, and she goes. Or, if you want her to keep moving, just press and hold, and she walk toward your cursor. Don't you wish you could uh, make wherever you wanted her to? Ah, uh, yeah. I, I wish I could make so many ponies walk wherever I wanted them. I'm pretty sure I can walk myself. Oh, Twilight. 
Don't you worry your pretty little head about the details. They figure it out, and that's a pinky promise. Cupcakes, I don't even know what I'm going for. I'm trying to go with an evil voice, but I can't do voices. Okay, so now we know how to move. Great. But what about, you know, examining evidence? Oh, that's simple. If you want to talk some to someone or look at something, all you do is click on it. Easy peasy. I'll click on you so good, girl. Ah, yeah. Click on it. <laughs> and that's it. See, she's very happy. Yeah. She is. That's it. That. Oh. That's it. Well, that's not it, it, but it's for now, cause other come later. You're not too ready for those it's yet. So don't worry your head about them. <laughs> Damn it, she's confusing to read. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I, I totally like, get what she's saying, but this sounds incredibly sexual. <laughs> You're not. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Okie dokie, and I'm off. Bye, Twilight. I'll be watching you. And I see you. See, she, she, I see you real soon, too. Catch you later. She's stalking us. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't mind being stalked by Pinkie Pie. That was fascinating, was it not? That's one way to describe it. But useful, wouldn't you say? So I must confess, I still do not believe that this is a good idea. Wait, how was this useful? She yeah. To click on stuff. Yeah, this wasn't useful to Twilight at all, or Rarity, uh, as far yeah. as they know. Let's Rarity knows things we don't know. Oh, oh, Rarity. Stop being, stop, stop hiding things from us. Pinkie Pie doesn't hide things from us. Yes, don't stop hiding that thing under your tail. <laughs> don't worry, Rarity. I'll get to the bottom of this before that investigation team even gets here. Exactly. Uh, okay. Well, I can. Oh yeah, and I can walk, and I can run and stuff. Do you went out you... before. Huh? You can also save. Oh yeah, I can save. I can, and I can look at my evidence, which right now is just people, and I can be like, "The hell is this shit?" What are people? <laughs> I mean, ponies. Whatever. Uh, characters, I guess, because there's gonna be more than ponies, you know. Like Spike and the I know, dogs I know. and stuff. Yeah. I, I was going for the ponies people thing. Oh, yeah, he's... Yeah. That's me, Twilight Sparkle. Every pony says I'm an egghead. I can't help it if I'm roll red and inquisitive. Rarity, Ponyville's resident fashionita, the victim in this case. Both True Blue and Opal were stolen from her last night. What were you saying, Spare? It was the, the, um, the town's fashionista and whore. <laughs> uh, indeed. Um, all according to the Mentally Advanced series, Rarity is the greatest whore. Um, or the worst yeah. whore, whatever. She's the biggest whore, though. The mayor of Ponyville can be a bit slippery, being a politi <laughs> politician and all, but we all love her. All the same. Oh, but we love her all the same, and we know she means well. Ah, uh, yeah. That'd be really funny. <laughs> She's she's all slippery, and we love her so good. So all politicians are very slippery because of him. Ah, exactly. Okay, now uh, let's look at the tire marks. Hmm. Well, it doesn't take a sharp eye to see that these are tire marks. It doesn't take sharp wit to figure out that whoever was here probably was the cause of the broken window too. Tire marks added to evidence. Is there anything else here? Now yeah, there's a piece of hair. Is this hair? Huh. Hair was added to evidence. Hey, hey! How's it going, Twilight? <laughs> <laughs> God, Pinky, stop making me come. It's, it's getting uncomfortable. Where did you? Where do you keep coming from? She keeps coming from everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, silly. That's not important. What is important is what you just got there. <laughs> uh, it's you got some kinds of hair. <laughs> it's not just hair. Why, it's a clue. And do you know what every super terrific investigator does with clues? Do tell. They eat them. 
They use their big, humongous brains to figure out stuff about him, of course. Jeez. It's like she doesn't even read the works. <laughs> How are you gonna do is bring up the evidence list, click on a piece of evidence or a profile, then click on combine with, click on another, and then click on combine, and you have an atomic bomb. <laughs> and then... <laughs> And then your investigation, blah, blah. and then your investigative wizardry t takes care of the rest. If it can, sometimes it's a dud, but that's the magic of investigation for you. Right, I'll get right on that. Okay, dokey, dokey. Well, have fun investigating. Me, I've got to a cake in the oven. It's a cupcake, <laughs> so I better be get get back before the cakes notice that it's Rainbow Dash. <laughs> Yeah, keep an eye on her, okay? Bye. Ha, I have ha, have fun investigating. Yes. I don't get the joke, but yes. <laughs> yeah, apparently my suggestive voice wasn't suggestive enough. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm, you know, I suppose there might be a connection between the hair and the tire marks, now that she mentions it. Okay, um... Could be hairy tire marks. Let's, yeah, let's, let's look at this, this hair and this tire marks and be like, the fuck is this shit? Curved tire marks found by the carousel boutique this morning leading towards a broken window. White strands of hair found by the carousel boutique this morning next to a pair of tire tracks. Yes, now well, let's combine this shit. Combine and have an atomic bomb. Yes, and we'll have the biggest bomb. If we assume this hair is from some animal, then it's naturally then it naturally follow that the rider probably swerved to avoid hitting it, explaining why that pony went towards the window. Except what animal was it? A pony perhaps? Hair, updated in evidence. It's obviously not pony hair. Why? Well Um, cause it's white and it doesn't look it's not long enough to be pony hair. As far as I know, I don't actually know exactly what pony hair looks like, but it doesn't, I, I don't know, it just doesn't look like pony hair to me. White strands yeah. of how hair found by the carousel boutique this morning, next to a pair of tire tracks. Where it belongs to caused the rider to swerve. It also doesn't look look nice like pony hair does. I don't know. When does rarity look nice? I don't even. I don't know. Since when does your face look nice? I don't know. That, your face is kind of irrelevant. Let's look at this here interesting tree. Oh, that's a tree El Plessence keeps getting stuck in. It seems to become a bit of a habit of hers ever since Rainbow Dash put her there to convince Rarity to come out of her room. One time we owned a chase up that tree, Applejack was awfully apologetic. But we spent quite a while trying to convince her to come down. Then another time, Rainbow Dash was practicing her aerial acrobatics and kind of messed something up, causing her to crash right into Carol Seek Boutique, bleh, and making poor Opal scurry up that tree once again. Eh, it doesn't even matter. Opal's gigantic cat whore. Fucking the worst. The worst of cats. No, I just wanted to say, do you think Opal has a tree fetish? <laughs> oh yeah, Opal probably, Opal, shy. Opal probably, oh yeah, Opal's, Opal's like, I, they run up that tree all the time, cause I just jizz all over it. <laughs> and then there was that time that the Cutie Mark Crusaders were trying to get their Cutie Marks in an interpretive dance. I don't really know exactly what happened, but by the time they were done, we had a tiger loose in Ponyville, Rarity's hair was on fire, and Opalescence was back in the tree. Again. Needless to say, Rarity did not like their, um, interpretation of dance. Anyway, she's not in the tree this time, surprisingly enough. Let's look at this big, stupid, shitty purple bush that looks super important. Wow, these are some really nice bushes. Very eye-catching. So much that you think that they're important. But, they're not. Okay. You got toys. <laughs> I already knew they were important. They're just big, dirty, fake, important-looking whore bushes. Hey, look, there's a star-shaped object. Let's look at it. 
A strange star-shaped object. I can't exactly say that I know what this is, but it looks out of place, which makes it a clue in my book. Star-shaped object. Added to evidence. Let's let's look. In the original version, it was useless. So it always threw me off. Uh, I think in this version it is also useless. Oh. <laughs> Old an object in the shape of an eight-pointed star. Unclear what its purpose is or where it came from. Oh, sure right. Jesus. It's the Jesus star. Yes. Jesus just put it there, and he's like, "Hey guys, <laughs> this is the Jesus star. Have fun with it." Just a flower bush. Nothing special, really. Although, now that I take a closer look, there's a ball here with a note. Hmm. Sometimes a pony... And this is Pinkie Pie's note. Sometimes a pony just has a plain old ball emergency. And that's why I've set these up. Play around with it as much as you like. Just make sure you return it when you're done with it. Wouldn't want some pony to have a ball emergency and not be able to solve it. Okie dokie loki. Somehow I have a sense for who put this here. It could make two puns on the ball emergency. Either <laughs> the Pinkie Pie always needs to have balls ready, or the Pinkie Pie likes to be um, ponies playing with the uh, balls. <laughs> Both are pretty good. I think I'm gonna go with the first one for my preference. Let's look at this here piece of cloth. A piece of cloth, red on one side, gold on the other. I think I know this from I from something. Whatever. The CMC cave shred added evidence. Hi. Ah, Pinky, stop doing that. I'm trying to concentrate <laughs> here, and it's hard when you keep just making me jizz all over Ponyville. <laughs> it's gonna need its own investigation at some point. <laughs> Oh, sorry, but I thought you might really, really like to know this latest thing I found in the walkthrough. What is it? Well, if you get a piece of evidence that someone might know about, then after you start talking to them, you can click on pres present evidence. And they let you know what they know about it. Pretty neat, huh? Uh, I'm supposed to know what now? Uh, Twilight, honestly, what am I gonna do with you? <sighs> well, you know what I meant, right? I'm gonna do cupcakes out of it. So it'd be right, fuck. So it all work out peachy keen in the end. I just let you know it. Ah. <laughs> Way to fill me with confidence, Pinky. Haha. <laughs> I'll fill you with more than confidence, Twilight. I was gonna say that. <laughs> Sorry. Well, that's all I got. See you on Twilight. Till next time. She's still a stalker. Uh, okay, well, let's check this shit in our audience. A torn part of the Cutie Mark Crusader's cape found outside the Carousel Boutique. Boutique did it. Fucking um. whatever. It's a Carousel Boutique with everything chic and unique and the fuck ever. I don't even remember. Do you remember? What? <laughs> you know, the little saying the carousel boutique had, and I don't even remember. I just remember it's chic and unique and some shit. Let's ask. Okay, uh, for one, let's end this here. So, uh, thank you for watching, every pony, and we'll see you next time. Yes. Don't talk to Pinky or she eat you. Girl. <laughs>